Weighing by difference. The objectives of this video are to learn proper weighing technique and learn the weighing by difference method. To weigh by difference, you will need Kim wipes, finger cots, camel hair brush, a spatula, a beaker, a laboratory notebook, and a sample or compound in a container to be weighed. Ensure that proper personal protective equipment is used. First, zero the analytical balance with all the doors closed. It is important to handle the compound container with finger cots, gloves, or a Kim wipe to avoid adding mass to the container from oils in your hands. Such care does not need to be taken with the beaker since it will not be weighed on the analytical balance or used to accurately determine mass. Place the container onto the center of the balance pan and gently close all the balance doors. Once a stable reading is reached, record the mass in a laboratory notebook. Remove the container from the analytical balance and take both the container and beaker to a top loading balance. Be sure to leave the doors to the analytical balance closed whenever it is not being used. Your laboratory notebook should be set up similar to this. It is a good idea to place the container on a Kim wipe if the bench top is dirty. If the compound is hygroscopic, the container should be capped as much of the time as possible. Gently clean the balance with a brush. Place the empty beaker on the top loading balance and tear the balance. Make sure your camel hair brush is clean by brushing it back and forth on your spatula. Hold the container over the beaker and carefully transfer the desired amount of compound from the container into the beaker using a spatula and camel hair brush. Remember to not touch the container with your bare fingers. It is critically important to achieve a quantitative transfer and not lose any compound outside of the beaker or container. Make sure the spatula is at or below the top of the beaker when brushing with the camel hair brush so that all the compound is brushed into the beaker and not onto the bench top. Reweigh the beaker on the top loading balance. The desired amount of compound is 0.5 grams and the balance reads 0.41 grams. Therefore, more compound needs to be added to be within 10% of the desired amount. Remove the container from the top loading balance and add more compound using the same careful quantitative transfer techniques. Notice how both sides of the spatula are gently brushed into the beaker, followed by cleaning any compound from the camel hair brush into the beaker. Reweigh the beaker on the top loading balance. Once the desired amount is achieved, take your materials back to the analytical balance, making sure to not touch the container with your bare fingers. Lastly, reweigh the container by zeroing the same analytical balance used to weigh the initial container mass. Place the container onto the center of the balance pan and close all doors of the balance. Once a stable reading is achieved, record the mass in a laboratory notebook. The mass of compound transferred to the beaker is the difference between the first and second readings of the container. You now know how to weigh by difference.